Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now it's time taking the ID4 for the 90 kilometers an hour uh, full range test. Why 90 kilometers an hour? Because this is the average speed what a normal person is doing when they're doing <laughs> bird country road and city. And that's why I do the 90 kilometers an hour test and I will also do full range test at 130 which is for the people who do a lot of highway driving. But today 90 and 90 kilometers an hour also should come close to WLTP range and that's always fun. Charge it to 100% about 97 or something. Then we go GPS speed 90 on the car it shows 93. Going in one direction 55% and then come back here. I will then look at what Google Maps says and what the car thinks the distance was. And then we calculate the range. Yeah, let's get in and drive. It's fun. Oh, and I will drive with AC on. It's 32 degrees today. I'm not driving five hours in this car in the sun. Well, only three hours in the sun, but still with 30 degrees. No, I'm sorry. This is the test if you do it in the summer with AC on. <laughs> I'm on my way, I'm driving 93 kilometers an hour, I am in eco mode, I have the climate on, AC at 22 degrees and only the driver. And my stats so far are pretty good, 149, 75 kilometers driven, I am at 86% so I used 14% to drive 75 kilometers that's pretty good average speed is awesome I mean I, I didn't have to slow down or speed up once totally weird look at that head up display um, I only changed highway where I had to slow down and then speed up again consumption is pretty awesome in my Rakobi test I had 139 137? I think 139. I can't remember. But we'll see. So far it looks like it will be above 500 kilometers. <laughs> With AC. I hope that's not true. I hope it will change. <laughs> I don't want to drive 500 kilometers. I'm doing right now I'm getting massaged <laughs> yeah because this of course is the fully specced one and I have it on massage right now and it's pretty good I have to say oh, especially in the lower back oh 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 yeah get in there at 75% and I drove 131 kilometers let's say 130 that would mean 520 kilometers isn't the WLTP range but I don't think that's true because when I look at the range and ID cars are pretty good with estimating the range it will be 488 and it is at that number so this number plus this number it is at 480 to 488 kilometers for the last 30 kilometers consumption is amazing average speed is incredible I mean awesome and yeah this is the exact kilometers I did uh, uh, reset that also we just go on and by the way it's still 30 degrees out there it was 32 when I left the charger, still the same settings, it's still 30 degrees. So I will most likely keep on these settings for a long time. It won't get cold that I don't need AC. I 
I just turned around. I turned around at 57% because I didn't, I don't want to have stress and don't want to drive that far anyways. But I'm now at 55%. Those were the stats. I turned around in Windach or Windig, something like that, so I know it later for my Google Maps calculation. A little tunnel here. Cute, eh? Still 150 watt hours per kilometer. I did the, the AC to 23 because it was a tiny bit too cold in here. I'm at 50% and I drove 260 kilometers, so it's still 520. It's still on the ball, consumption is going down. It's a bit colder, so less air conditioning and maybe the trip here now is better. I have still 267 kilometers of range and I still have to drive 181, so I have 86 kilometers of margin it's way too much but I didn't want to drive too far and then have a problem at the end because I never know with wind and whatever uh, and this is a very long distance away from home I don't want to slow down at 90 so I took it safe and said I'm turning around when it's 60 kilometers of margin but the margin is going up so I will arrive with above 10%, I guess. A hundred kilometers to the Georgia but 203, 98 kilometers of charger, but 203 kilometers of range. And it seems to be true because I'm not even at 33%. I drove 344 kilometers. Average speed is perfect. Consumption is going down. I'm driving for almost four hours. Uh, I think I have to, to go in a different direction and then go to the charger. Eh, <laughs> it will be a long drive, but I cannot arrive at a, with a range test with 100 kilometers of range and end it. I have to go 30 kilometers in a different direction and then go on. We do it like that. I'm on the way to Regensburg now and I will turn around at some point. It's 98 kilometers to the Charger. I made a little trip, so going up and then back. I had a three trip thing, so it just takes the highway. And I have 138 kilometers of range, so 41 kilometers of margin. That's okay. Um, where am I? I'm at 23%. And consumption is low. Look at that. And I drove 400 kilometers already in four and a half hours. Average speed is still perfect. What's the exact distance was this? We go on. It's gonna be a long drive. I turned around now at the uh, return point and it's 68 kilometers to the Georgia. It's still 25 degrees out there. And I have 105 kilometers of range. So what is that? 37 kilometers of margin. There will be an uphill 
but also in downhill at the end. So I think I can make that. Where are we with percent? I had the battery warning. 17 percent. 105 kilometers driving with 17 percent. I made it with exactly 500 kilometers. <laughs> five, over five and a half hours. 145 watt hours per kilometer is the average consumption. This average speed is wrong. It's 89 point something. I arrived with 5%. I will now charge. And before that, we uh, I will look at Google Maps what the real distance was. And then we calculate the range. But first, let's see how we're charging. 126, 22, 23, that's okay at 5%. Voltage is so low in a 77 kilowatt hour pack. Now we have 126 because the 125 in the battery and one kilowatt is for the AC. That's, run. no, it's turned off because I'm outside the car. I take it back, ooh, even 127, ooh. <laughs> there was a long, long drive over, five and a half hours I mean I had to come to the charger charge to 100% and go so it was at 95 when I arrived there was a long trip um, yes Google Maps says it's 502 kilometers and with 5% left that means 528 kilometers of range with this ID4 at 32 and a half degrees when I started now it's 23 but when I was still driving, it said 25 in the car. But it was m mostly above 30 degrees. AC always on at 22 degrees inside the cabin, driver only, uh, or eco. Uh, first uh, 22 degrees, then 23, and then even now 23 and a half or so because it got too cold. But AC off was feeling weird too. It was too more. It's too wet. But awesome. The drive was perfect I mean I, I, uh, I had to change highways four times and I think I passed two or three trucks where I accelerated a tiny bit and I think I had to slow down one time or so but 89 uh, kilometers per hour average speed is awesome for a range test like this this was awesome it was a great drive I had the massage on most of the time music very nice i mean it's just long it was the longest i've ever driven in an ev for a range test five and a half hours 500 kilometers and it was the longest i've ever driven in a car without stopping so this was hard but we did it 500 kilometers there was a lot of fun i'm charging now a bit and then go home okay thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye